Now it's time to set up Globiflow with the syncing of MySQL database. So we'll go to Globiflow login. We'll navigate down into our organization, our workspace, and then our app. We'll select that. This is where we can get to the tool we need, which is called MySQL. So click on the gears and hit MySQL. Now the first thing we do here is just give it a name. I'm going to call it Property Sync Tutorial. Now the app should be already selected since we selected that in the previous screen. Now here's the server name. This is going to be your domain name. In my case is reitutorials.com. Now the port, that will stay at 3306. Now the MySQL user. You go back to the advanced screen in the Bluehost dashboard, click databases, and this is where you get the uh, user. This is the user we created in the last step when we created the, or in the step where we created the database. So that is REI tut tutor underscore podio. That's the one I created. Yours might be different. Now the password is the password we created for this. If you didn't write that on the side, you could probably go in and regenerate the password. So we'll paste that right in this password area. And now the database will be will be right here. So we'll copy that, bring that back over to the database. Now, what the problem we have here is that Bluehost will not allow you to communicate with the server unless you take that IP address and give it access. So we will copy that, we'll move over. So we clicked on the advanced tab, and now it comes up to the cPanel. And in the cPanel, we navigate down to the databases area and click on remote MySQL. This will bring up the access hosts. So in that first box, we want to paste the IP address that we took over from Globiflow. We'll add this to, to the list that we a list of IP addresses that we allow to access the database. Now once we do this, we kind of have to do a little trickery to refresh and get the list of the tables. So what I like to do is uh, Remove the what I like to do is remove the database name, click out of the field and go back in and paste the database name again. And once we click out, the tables will show up. And now we'll select the table, which is sync properties for me. And the sync options will leave that as Podio to MySQL. The other option is MySQL to Podio, but that's not what we're trying to set up here. The last part of this is we have to select match up the fields. So we have to match up the item ID to the item ID in 10 unsigned field. If this doesn't show up, then you probably didn't click the unsigned attribute or it's not the right type. And then we set the, the address to the street, city, state, and zip, and so on down the line. We also have the bedrooms and the bathrooms. Asking price. Then the additional information we'll put in the notes. And then the hash checksum is where we put the hash. Now we'll save. And now this process is going to collect all the information, all the app all the app items and then copy them over to your database table. Depending on how many app items you have, it could take a while. For example, my app has about 150 or 850 items and this process is going to take about 15 minutes. I'm going to pause the video now because you don't need to stare at this thing doing practically nothing and I can't talk for that long. Now that the process is complete, you're all set, and your Globiflow will now sync your Podio app with the database. 
anytime you make any changes to your Podio app item. We can go take a look at my, my table and you'll see all the data that was put in there. So we click the my PHP admin, click down to the database and the table, and now you can see that all my properties have been imported into my database table. You see there's about 879 records. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.